Hey everybody, it's old dad back with Kid Source. Today is part of our Kid Source Minecraft Survival Series. And this is going to be the official walkthrough of this survival map. And being that it's the official walkthrough, we also came up with the official name for the survival map. So we're going to start out right here at the spawn point. You'll spawn right here in the middle of this little village. Oh man, and I thought we were going to have a creeper disaster as we've already had right here. So anyways, the name of the map, Super Sweet Survival. Okay, so that's by Kid Source, built by Kid Source. The name of the map is going to be listed on all the websites as Super Sweet Survival. Okay, the triple S, Kid Source Survival Map. So you spawn right near here. We just saw the livestock pen. There's also a little village over here. Uh, I built all this. You guys can go back and watch the first episodes of this series if you want to see the history behind all this stuff. But basically I built a little village here whenever I spawned here. This is where I spawned whenever I started the survival series on this random map and I built a little village here for what reason I don't know I just thought it would be fun I like to build houses and stuff so I just threw something together this is the main house here the house I used for myself and if we go in here we can see right away there's a lot of chests I see a nether portal back there here's a little bunk room got some sweet art on the uh, on the wall there if you go up the ladder here uh, it's kind of a lookout up here on top of the big house so this is the house I used whenever I spawned here I ultimately built another house closer to the village that we call red I mean uh, kid source village now so that's the one I use when I'm playing the map now is the house over near the village but when you spawn this is a great house right here to start out with and uh, let's see we got the mine, the mine and ravine access. Now this is not talking about a mine shaft. This is just a mine where I've been strip mining. Uh, if you look around here, I've mined all this out right here. I just mined down into the ground from my house there. And I mined all of that out to get cobblestone and different resources. And as I kept mining, I ran into a ravine. Uh, I built this little bridge up there for gathering some copper. But yeah, so... So I built some steps down to the end of the ravine here. That way you can get down here in the ravine. And if you keep going down that way, that's another deep mine down there. Found some diamonds down there, as a matter of fact. It goes all the way to the bedrock. But That is one of the ravines that we have marked off and with a path all the way to it. So if you download this map, Super Sweet Survival, built by Kid Source. Then you can go to all these landmarks and it'll make your survival game a lot easier, I would say. Uh, not to mention, you know, you got all these places you can go gather resources already marked off. But we have tons of resources already stored in chests that we have gathered too much of. We've gathered these resources as we've played this survival series and we've stored extras in the chests. I'm just going to jump straight in the nether portal now. All right, that's where you come out of that nether portal into the nether. I got a crafting table over there. And as you can see here, path to the nether fortress. So I have actually built a path out of stone, cobblestone, from the porthole here all the way to the nether fortress. As you can see, it stands out really well. To get to the nether fortress just follow this stone road all the way over there it is a long long road so we're gonna skip ahead a little bit right here all right so when you get to this tunnel here you know you're fixing to be at the nether fortress that'll that'll be your sign that you're almost there I go down this long stairway I see another portal right there and we'll get to that in a minute I'm gonna walk straight on over here and there is a part of the nether fortress for you to see. 
the nether fortress is actually really huge it's like a big maze almost we can only see uh, just a little bit of it right here and once you get down inside of it and start exploring the inside you will realize quickly uh, not only is it a huge structure but it is fraught with peril there is or there are I should say a ton of mobs throughout any nether fortress I can't believe we haven't run into one already I'm just giving you a little peek real quick and once we run into a mob I'm gonna turn around and run oh uh, there's a blaze so we're gonna turn around and boot scoot out of here because I don't want to get killed right now I will stop now and talk about this nether portal right here or return portal this puts you out in the middle of nowhere far away from anything we've built on the map I don't recommend using this portal unless you have a compass and you want to take a long hike so I went back to the there's a little kind of castle thing here that I built to protect the portal and all from fire charges fireballs whatever they call them so we're gonna go back through the portal right here and we'll come out right near where we left all right so as you can see everyone we came out right here near where we left uh, that's our house way over there to the right you can kind of see it in the distance right back there but first I want to stop off right here and show you guys another feature uh, of the map here that we've set up and it is yet another ravine and this is the top side of what I assume probably turns into the underground ravine uh, that we saw earlier but either way it's pretty sweet got good access to another ravine and a ravine is a great place as you probably already know to gather up a lot of different resources because you can work your way down the side of the ravine and just look around and say oh here's a big deposit of copper oh here's a big deposit of coal and just build little bridges and stuff and work your way around the ravine and just gather up a ton of resource material all right we're back here at the main spawn point location the little village here got the livestock over there got the main house back over here and now i'm going to take you guys over here to what we're calling redstone i'm sorry <laughs> to what we're calling kid source village so if you take off down this road right beside the little garden of the main house You'll know you're going the right way because you're going to run into a little netherrack or netherstone house over here. And it houses yet another nether portal. There's a lot of these nether portals floating around. and So that's just yet another feature of this map that you guys are going to love. You can, Oh, we got a creeper. Got a creeper attack. I'm going to lead him away from the road over there. nice we I can't believe the amount of creeper attacks that happen in survival mode I tell you what and we're not we're not in hard mode either I think we're playing in normal mode here and the creeper attacks have just been relentless if you watch the earlier episodes uh, you guys would see where I found the village that we're going to right now a long time ago several episodes ago and we had so many creeper attacks in the village in the first couple of nights that it wiped out all the villagers. There was only one villager left. But I have since solved that problem with by curing a zombie villager and building a villager farm, which you can look at in those earlier episodes. So I put up a sign right here on this road just to make sure everybody knows when they're leaving the spawn point, hey, if you follow this road, go past that nether portal building right there on your right keep following this road for a long long way you will get to the village kid source village okay so we skipped ahead a pretty good way there's a couple of things you're probably going to want to check out on your way to the village on this long 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 road uh, 
The first thing you're probably going to really notice that'll jump out at you is this open mine on the side of the road and it says out front underground ravine access. If we go back into the back of the mine here, we see that other sign that we just saw, underground ravine access, and we're gonna keep going down this hallway. Now keep in mind, we're a long way away from the spawn point now, so this is not the same ravine that we looked at before. But as you can see, clearly, in front of us here is a big closed top ravine, or underground ravine. I'm gonna go down in here I've set up a ladder so that you can go down in here and explore. Uh, I didn't explore it a lot. I, I did set up some torches to kind of get you started on your way there. But I didn't gather any of the resources and I did not uh, really even explore it that much. I just set up the torches. You know, a lot of this stuff that I discovered during this survival series like in the mine shaft there would be a lot of chests and thing like things like that with rewards in them i didn't take those things out of the chests i left them there uh, i did take a couple of saddles that i found and i put those in the chests up in the houses that i built so that way you don't have to search for those and you can start out with them towards the beginning of using the map instead of having to go to those mine shafts and look for them. But there's still tons of stuff. I didn't take all the goodies away from all these locations. I left them so that you all could enjoy finding those things when you play the super sweet survival map by Kid Source. Again, never stopping with the relentless self-promotion that I promote daily on YouTube, weekly, monthly, whenever I upload a video, it varies, but always, always, one thing that never varies, that will never change like the sun coming up every day, is the relentless self-promotion of our Kid Source channel on YouTube. Hey, go subscribe today if you haven't done that already. So we came to a fork in the road here. One sign says go to the village. This sign says go to the mine shaft. So we're almost to the village, but I wanted to shoot right up here and show you guys the mine shaft really quick because it's a really cool feature of the Kid Source super sweet survival map. I'm gonna go down the ladder here. The mine shaft is pretty deep, and I have it where you can get off on two different levels. So here is the first level, because the mine shaft itself is several levels. I'm not sure how many. I didn't do a lot of exploring in here. I just set out a couple of torches. Um, we'll jump on the ladder and go down to the next level down. And you'll see there is a little area when we get down here. Uh, that has some chests and I also put a crafting table there just for convenience purposes and I put a few torches around here um, but I didn't go very far I'll leave that to you all to explore in the mine shaft and see what all you can find down there all right so that is the mine shaft now we're gonna go back down here to the fork in the road and continue on to uh, Kid Source Village and show you where that is located. The village, it says that way. There's another road that goes the other way, but you'll just have to check that out for yourself. I built a road all the way around the entire outskirts of the village. Welcome to Kid Source Village. Um, so the road goes all the way around. Sometimes it's a wooden road, sometimes it's even a path in the dirt, but there is a road that goes around the entire outskirts of the village. And I've got a lot of sugar cane planted down there, as I just showed you. Kind of looked over that. We got big crops planted over here. Uh, this is the actual village. This is a village I found just by looking around uh, in survival mode. And we have... Oh, there's a iron golem. Seems to be having a little problem. But... There are tons of villagers in here. We've had some problems. The villagers got down to one villager, but I was able to cure a zombie villager and then build a villager farm, which is still here in the village. And look at all the villagers now. Like, practically overrun with villagers is Kid Source Village. So, 
if you need to do some trading achievements if you need to get some of that stuff done if you just like being around villagers kid source village is the place to be as you can see they're coming out of the woodwork everywhere villagers all right so then you have a, also have a huge garden over here and I'm gonna run down here and show you that we have a huge livestock fence with livestock already in it and then this is the house it's a very similar main house to the one at the spawn point but it is a different house I have a uh, button over an iron door here to keep the villagers out We've got everything you could want in here. Got an anvil, a crafting table. Uh, got a huge map here of the village. And there's also a map on the other side right there. So got that going for us. Got tons of resources in these chests. They are labeled, you know, for different things. And then a lot of times you'll just find a bunch of stuff that I threw in a chest that doesn't have a label just to get it out of my inventory. There's the brewing stand. Uh, we got a ladder here that goes up to a, a rooftop lookout. And we can look over the whole village here. Hello, villagers. It is I, your buddy old dad. All right, now we'll head back down here to the main floor and look at some other stuff. This is the deep mine that's under the uh, Kid Source Village main house. Uh, and I've mined through a lot of this. I found some diamond down here. Found a lot of redstone. Some of that stuff is in the chests upstairs. Hey, here's a chest here. Could be some stuff in there, maybe. So, it's a nice big mine, and there's still tons of resources down here that uh, you can fill up your chest over there with, alright? And this is the back exit, or front exit, I guess, depending on uh, which direction you're walking from. And as we come out at the top here, we'll see we're right here at the melon patch. Awesome. We have some melons here and then some pumpkins over there also. And this is just right behind the house here at Kid Source Village. The main house or my house, whatever you want to call it. This is the house that I worked out of during the entire uh, series once I found the village here. And let's see, we'll go explore some of the road work that I laid out. Uh, as I explored the unknown territory around the village, uh, I, would set, I would set blocks with a torch on top of them and make kind of a trail, like a trail of breadcrumbs, you know, from the old story Hansel and Gretel. That's how I was able to find my way back to the house, you know, because a compass leads you back to the main spawn point. Uh, so, in order to not get lost from the village and from my house, I would set up blocks. Well, I used a compass then to go back to my main spawn point house at the time and get all my stuff. Ended up building a road between the main spawn point and the village. And from there, I ended up building tons of roads that went east, west, north south just to explore all the different areas around and i was looking for you know rare items and unknown things i found a couple of things and i'll put the coordinates for those around in different places so that you guys can find a couple of the landmarks that i discovered um, but the best thing i really found was probably the village Here's a little house. Uh, I, I can't remember where this road goes right offhand. Nice little house right there. Um, I believe this one goes to the Snowy Mountains. And, oh, here's a sign. Snowy Mountains. Yes, so this road, we'll go on through the tunnel here, and I'll give you a good look at what we got. This tunnel took me a minute to build. I didn't think I was ever going to come out the other side. I scouted around the mountain and realized it would be easier to tunnel through than to try and go around or go over. However, this took me a really long time and I broke a lot of pickaxes. And I broke a lot of pickaxes trying to make my way through this giant mountain. So, it was worth it. When you come out on the other side here, you got just a massive 
you end up in a massive mountain courtyard right here, right? And I've built roads that go all the way up to the top of that snowy mountain, you know? Okay, just another feature, snowy mountains. All right, here's a little house that uh, is just along the roadside here. Not real sure what that's all about. Again, we're just on the outskirts of Kid Source Village. There's another little hideout or something right there. Uh, and we got like a dead end. So we're just gonna turn around and go back the other way and see if we can find anything else down the road. These roads are really fun. I've got little surprises built and some cool things hidden here and there in these little hideout places. All right, so we're back on a dirt path just out to the north uh, northeast of the village. And here is another mine shaft that you can enter into. It could be the same mine shaft that's under the village over there. I'm not sure. It would have to be a huge mine shaft it was, if it was actually the same mine shaft because we're pretty far away from that. Uh, our signs lead us on to the mine shaft so you don't get lost, but pretty much you just keep going down this tunnel and uh, you're gonna dead end into the mine shaft. And there again, relentless self-promotion of the Kid Source channel here on YouTube. So, if you haven't ever been in a mine shaft, go check it out. They're awesome. So, that's it. That's all the time we have for this video. It's been a long video. If you're a man, you don't cry about it. But there are a lot of features in this map, and we didn't even cover the tip of the iceberg yet. I showed you a few of the big features, but there are a lot more big features that you're gonna discover. If you like the video, be sure and hit that like button. Be sure and download this map. There's a link in the description where you can do that. And be sure and subscribe to Kid Source channel on YouTube. We'll see you next time.